It's Boxing Day, a huge day in the English Christmas calendar. Lots of people come round for a big buffet. Uh, there's more champagne, there's more food. Some people play games of football, games of cricket. God knows what everyone's gonna do this year on lockdown, but one thing's for sure, we're gonna eat and drink more. But I have got the perfect cocktail for you. If everyone's sick of whiskey, you're sick of Buck's Fizz, we're gonna use mezcal or tequila and a fresh shot of espresso to pep ourselves up. Happy Boxing Day. So, a lot to say about tequila and mezcal. We will do a deep dive another time. But, the, they're basically the same thing. They're both made from the agave plant. Tequila is appellation controlled, so it can only be made from one type of agave plant, prepared in a certain way, and it has to come from the region of tequila. A bit like champagne. Champagne can only come from champagne, but there are other amazing sparkling wines from other parts of the world, South Africa, England. Interesting fact, England apparently has such great sparkling wine now because it, we have the same chalk scene that runs from Champagne region right through to the south of England. I heard that once. It is good sparkling wine. So anyway, that's it. You've got your mezcals, not from the tequila region, and you've got your tequila from tequila in surrounding areas. So, what are we making? This. So, on that note, um, tequila, these are, oh, what a terrible port. These are little, um, these are tequila or mezcal tasting cups. Um, when I first got to Mexico a number of years ago, I bought a round of tequilas for some English people and some Mexican people, and we all shot the tequilas with salt and lime, and they were absolutely appalled, because when, when you're drinking it, you are taking in the spirit of, of the plant, the agave. So there's a certain reverence and respect that sort of surrounds the drinking of it, or should. So I'd like to think what we're doing here is, is, is paying our respects to tequila and mezcal and by just lifting its flavours with a couple of other things. So what we're gonna do for this is uh, we're gonna basically mix the tequila or your mezcal, your choice, the smokier the better, with uh, one of these Schwarz cherries or a Morello cherry and its syrup would do nicely. Um, some dark brown sugar, or Demerara sugar, um, and then half the juice, or uh, the juice of half a clementine. Um, then, very interestingly, we're gonna rim the glass with part brown sugar, 50% brown sugar, and then this, which I actually have from Oaxaca. Now this is cardamom and dried caterpillar salt. Really interesting flavor, it sounds weird. Insects are eaten in more of the world uh, than not. So actually, us coming from the West, it's we're just a smaller portion of the world that actually doesn't eat them. That's delicious. And the background flavor of the cardamom's there, and the caterpillar is almost this kind of subtle, uh, dry, um, savory note underneath. So that combined with the dark sugar is gonna be this salty, sweet, delicious mixture to rim the glass. And a talking point, rimming glass with caterpillar. So, Let's make this. That's a drink, it's simple as that. Serve it in the morning and you, you know what? Drink it with your favorite cigar or have it instead of a box fizz, cheers. And serve it with a shot of delicious espresso. It tastes so good, it's smoky and sweet. The cherry in the background, 
and then that hint of citrus, and then the salty, sweet rim with the ants. Happy Boxing Day, all.